Hey guys, welcome back to another video, another funnel tutorial Tuesday, and today we're gonna dive into the ClickFunnels editor. And so, without further ado, make sure you subscribe, like this video, turn those post notifications on so you don't miss any other videos. And now, let's dive in. As you can tell on the screen here, we have a funnel open. You can see the different steps here. Um, if I want to add another step, for an example, a thank you page, I can do so. By the way, yesterday, if you haven't seen that video, I dropped a video on the One Funnel Way 2.0 challenge. And today I wanted to use that funnel as an example, the editor here showing you as I'm explaining the editor and the different features within ClickFunnels, I'm actually gonna be showing you the funnel that I built and how I did it. So for an example, the first thing you gotta understand about the funnel Funnel editor is it's kind of like Lego so you see sections here so I want to add a section right I can choose full width wide medium small I always choose full width because you'll see why so now I have a full width in terms of the section the the outline of the funnel then inside of that I can add rows so now I can go and add a three column row awesome I can uh, go in and add a one column I just drop it there. Let's add one more, uh, two column for an example, boom. Now these rows are all within this back, I said background, uh, this section, because for an example, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and, and make the background color something like this, boom. And now that I have these, I can add a background image that will then cover all of these because they're in that section. So if I wanted to add a headline here, I could just click here and drag this headline uh, out there. Boom, go to settings and I can then change the color, right? I can then make it bigger, smaller. And you'll see here because I can also edit the mobile. If I then go, let's put this to 26 pixel. If I then go on mobile, it's small on mobile and big on desktop, which is super awesome. And then if I wanted to duplicate this, I could just clone it, make it a little bit smaller and maybe put that one to yellow. Or in this case, let's just go with this um, right here. So we're just gonna say, insert great headline here, boom. Let's say I also wanted to add a video here. So I would then just drag this here. Boom, I now have a video. Gonna make that top 15 margin. And now I wanna have a button as well. And so I'm just gonna add a button and I can go to themes here and I can choose for an example, I wanna go with light green button, boom. I wanna go with 15 vertical space, 40 horizontal, and I'll just make square buttons. And so I'm gonna make it 26, change the color here, and roll now in full time funnel designer. I don't know how this turned into a pitch for my course, but if you want it, <laughs> link is in the description. Uh, learn how to start a funnel agency from scratch. Awesome. Now what I can do here is change the settings on this button so <clears throat> I can make it go to another website. I can uh, submit form, right? But then I would have to have a form for an, for an example, uh, an email. So what I can do instead is go submit the page. I could then go, oops, <clears throat> for a second there, I was afraid that I saved this because this is the page that people go through uh, when they get all of my bonuses for the One Funnel Away Challenge. Again, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you watch it from yesterday. It's basically getting coaching from Russell Brunson to launch a brand new funnel, the offer, uh, the sales message, your publishing platforms, and the, the funnel inside of ClickFunnels with like workbooks and stuff. And so it's $100 and, and I put together an offer yesterday like, hey, you can get it for the same price, $100, and you get all of his bonuses, but if you get it through my link, which is also in the description, then you also get 37 funnel templates from me and stuff like that. And so I was like, hopefully I didn't save this page and override that. But anyways, you see how, how we then, um, we can change the action of this button to, uh, open the pop-up for an example. So now, um, by the way, I like when these buttons are alive. So I can just go to button effect and make that elevate. There we go. Um, so now 
it will then click um, and it would pop up here and people put their email and now this one you can see is set to submit the page and then when they do that in general settings it goes to on submit go to one funnel away and it's my affiliate link uh, which is why I give away the free bonuses and all that. So if I wanted to add, uh, change this video, I can just do that here. Add a YouTube link, Vimeo, uh, Wistia or custom embed. Um, if I wanted to add more text, I would just add new element. And then you can scroll down here and see everything that you can use. So obviously the most common ones are image. You can clone those if you want to have three images for an ex example. If you want to have... Uh, icons you can also do that by going down to icons and you can change the size of it put these to um, 42 I would then go in here and find the icons that I want to use and so um, a lot of cool stuff that you can do but that's the section we got the row and then the columns are within those row if it, uh, row rows if I want to go and change something, for an example, the background color. So I could do that and make it, for an example, a little bit more like that. And then I could add spacing within so it looks, it looks clean and it's easy to read. Boom. Awesome, there we go. Uh, I can also um, change the, the SEO. So you can change the, the image here that you want to uh, be visible when you're sharing the page. You can change obviously your name and the description. You can go ahead and add tracking code for your Facebook. And then you can uh, have a background for the entire page if you want to. I just like to add the background images into these sections. Uh, typography, I have a custom font that I've added to CSS here. So you don't have to do any coding, I've just added the the link to the font that I want to use. I can make a, a separate video uh, on that if you want. Just comment below, uh, hey, please make a, <clears throat> a video about fonts and I'll do that. But uh, general settings is then, if we want to give out digital uh, assets, we can choose that here. Affiliate badge, we don't want that to be seen. Uh, search engines, yes, we want to be uh, shown on SEO. So that's just a quick tutorial on how to use the ClickFunnels editor. Uh, I can do more videos on these. Every single Tuesday we do funnel tutorials. And so make sure you subscribe with the post notifications on because a lot of people don't get notifications on these funnels uh, in these videos, sorry. And so don't miss out on these. If you want to join me for 30 days uh, on the One Funnel Away Challenge, <clears throat> start to finish 30 days and help me keep you accountable as well as join the, the private community that you get access to for free. Make sure you click below. It'll take you to my page, this one exactly. And you can then read how to get all of my bonuses, how to get 37 funnel templates from me, how to get email follow-up swipe files so you can turn more visitors into customers, so on and so forth. Just $100 for everything from Russell and, and from me. It's, it's insane. It's better than any, I mean, most of the courses out there. So anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.